<clears throat> yeah, guys and gals, welcome back to another daily dose of my daily news. Now, I'm going to play the change of my shirt over in a minute. <clears throat> so, um, today is, what day is it today? It's the 11th, I think. Yeah, 11th. Let me just get my little Samsung Galaxy Tablet 4 out. This is a Tab 4. I bought this a while gone back. I think it was like 60 quid or some shit like that. Actually, I think it was more than that. It was like 150 or 150 quid, not 60. Um, so, there's a, a couple of topics I want to get done today. Uh, one of them being um, the back out of, I think it was his name, Andrea Ledson. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, I think she was a Tory as well, I think, or Labour or something. Uh, uh, oh, Ledson. Right. Okay, so this is going to be the first article. Uh, she stepped aside for Theresa May, apparently, today. Uh, and today is... Right, um... Yes, yeah, Monday the 11th of July. And it's now 7 o'clock. And yeah, I just want to um, just get some right. The uh, the referendum on our place in the EU was only eighteen days ago, longer than a decent or decent summer holiday, but only just. On the eve of the vote, we thought that it might change just about everything in British politics, which it did. Um, the campaign along felt uh, alone felt uh, like it had thrown everything up in the air and now what happens next has become rapidly clear the result claimed the legacy of our current prime minister uh, and in less than a fortnight has produced our next one Theresa May is actually going to be the prime minister next Wednesday so I presume, yeah, yeah, so next Wednesday. Wednesday oh, Wednesday this week. Okay, so, yeah. So, um, it says, ironically, given that she's one of the most careful and cautious politicians uh, around and not necessarily a believer in fast decisions, uh, Mrs. May will move into number 10 far more quickly than she would ever have imagined and without having to campaign for the job. Which actually sucks if you find um if you actually agree with me, guys and girls. I find to be honest, we deserve a second like debate, a second um election, I should say. Yeah, and why do we need the second election? Because because we didn't have the option to choose our prime minister. Now if I see it differently than anybody else then do put it in the actual description below i find that theresa may right she's just in there because she wants people to suffer she's taken david cameron's job and it's not likely right she was going to take his job to actually uh get rid of the bedroom tax oh no 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 uh she's not going to be going to take the bedroom tax at all i don't think I don't think she is, and I think she's going to make a lot of people suffer in the UK. And we need someone who is actually utmost with people, right? Tells it as it is, and don't lie to their faces. And also, not stab each other in the back. That is a second uh, thing that should happen. Not to get stabbed in the back by your Prime Minister. And, thirdly not have right a prime minister who's more like margaret thatcher back from the fucking dead 
And yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, she's. If you look at her face, she looks the spitting image of Margaret Thatcher. And if anything, um, Margaret Thatcher's gone by when she was prime minister. Everybody suffered, the working class people, the people at the coal miners, and a lot more. Um, yeah, and the disabled people is going to be in trouble, a heck of a lot of trouble. Uh, we're all going to suffer because of her mistakes, that she's covering that for David Cameron so he could go off, leave the country in a right state, and fuck everybody over. And, yeah, so... And what else? Uh, the Corbyn. And, yeah, as my mum just brought up um, in another one, um, where is it? Corbyn. Okay. Okay, so basically the leader of the Labour Party, uh, Corbyn, Jeremy Corbyn, um, basically, he's been told to stand down on his position. And he's been told by his people to stand down on his position they, to make sure he stands down as leader so they could get a honest leader to actually run the party. And I believe no fucking way. Jeremy Corbyn is the guy who stands there, right, when people start spitting in his face, gives him all the bullshit, he's still standing there. Gordon he, Brown is uh, one, right? Well, no, and Gordon got, Brown fucked up our country. Exactly, and he's one who's trying to tell him to stand down. There's Tony Blair, who got to disqualify. He's telling him to stand down. Oh. Well, no, it, 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 well, no. I mean, it's obvious. Oh, Tony Blair's can uh, bloody say stuff about it because <clears throat> he's the one that started uh, the Iraqi war. Oh, don't forget Ed Miliband as well. Oh yeah, Ed Miliband. He didn't even make it to uh, the election when he stepped up to be the prime minister. He lost to David Cameron. So I mean, those p people who've lost. Uh, who've fucked over, who've um, not really gone that far of a distance, right, is doing all they can to get the good guy out, right, so they could get some corrupted official, like, taken over. And I think, to be honest, it's wrong. Uh, shouldn't the people have a vote in this? Rather than saying, oh, let's get old bloody Jeremy Corbyn out of the actual uh, leadership. Because it would be better for them to get him out. I think, no. I think what they should be doing, they should be focusing on keeping him in. Making him more stronger. I think he should stand up for a bit more and tell him what he thinks more of him. Tell him to fuck off or something to the rest of the people on there. And tell him if they don't like it, him being the leader, well, tough. Fucking like the students were backing him. Up. Yeah, the students are liking him. I actually like him. I think he's the best there is for Great Britain. And I think, to be honest, there should be another election. And I think he should stand up as the leader and the prime minister of Great Britain and take Theresa May on on her job. And I think, to be honest, that would be fucking the most sane thing you could do for this country that we're living in if we got Theresa May in we've got a really big disaster on our hands and I think you guys and girls out there should actually let your voices be heard and tell people that you want bloody Theresa May not to be in to have an official proper fight on our hands unless she's a coward because to be honest, she's taking it very, very easy and light and delicate. She no. doesn't she doesn't have to do anything, does she? She's just going in there now. As the Prime Minister, right, or Prime Minister S, I should say, because she's a lady, right? And she's going to be leading the country. And I don't think she's got it in her. I'm, it I'm, not, I'm, not being, I'm not being like uh, uh, about her because she's a woman. 
I just don't think she can cut it. David Cameron is the uh, one, the coward. Yeah, David Cameron's a coward out. as well. No, he's walking out on the country. So what do you expect from he him? He should stay. And then people fight. say, well, he's done his job. He hasn't done his job. He's still got another three, four years left. Yeah. And he can't even finish that. No, he's you know why? Away. Because, to be honest, right, he is a letdown. He's like Theresa May, right? Theresa May, she's a letdown, right, for our country. She's going to fuck our country up. And I think, to be honest, I think she should resign before she's even come in there. Because there's going to be a lot more trouble, right, on her hands from the MPs and all these people who want to stand up and want a proper person inside as a Prime Minister. If David and, Cameron had been a man, he would have stuck it out. Yeah, he would stuck it out. But then again, I don't think he could cut it either. He's fucked up this country just as bad as anybody else who's actually fucked up this country. And it's all because we us being in the EU and then, uh, was it uh, Jeremy Corbyn said to uh, David Cameron uh, a while back and said to him, oh, um, seeing you're leaving, are you going to get rid of the bedroom tax, uh, rid of it? And do you know what? He didn't say one fucking effing word. You know why? Because he don't want to. He doesn't want to fuck up, uh, like, a good thing, right? He wants to keep a bad thing in there, right? He wants to keep this bad thing in. He wants people suffering. He wants the disabled people suffering, right? And then he wants, like, the poor people to be poor. He, he wants, wants the rich and the corrupted to be corrupted. And, yeah. He wants to go out, be remembered for the... Prime Minister who brought bedroom tax into it, like and killed Margaret, tens and thousands like of people. Such had done <clears> years <throat> ago. She brought the council tax in. Yeah, but he wants to. He so far, right? All David Cameron's going to be known as is a murderer. And why is he going to be a murderer? Because he's killed tens and thousands of people with this bedroom tax. People have ended their lives because of it. And now he wants to end even more people's lives by keeping it on there. Anyway, guys and girls, if you agree with me in this com um, conversation or this video, please do subscribe to the channel, do like the channel, favour the channel, and cheers all for watching, and catch you guys and girls on the flip side. You said it now.